I would like to <clears throat> I'd like to welcome all of you today to the ribbon cutting ceremony for the Middletown Community Park Rehab and CIP project. My name is Jeremy Courtright and I am the director of Frederick County Parks and Recreation and on behalf of our division I would like to thank all of you for being here today. I would like all of you to, to rise as the Cub Scout 278 presents our colors and leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Color Guard Cantron. Audience, please remove all non-religious head coverings. Color Guard Advance. Color Guard, prepare to face the colors. Please place your hand over, the, over your heart. Color Guard, post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Color Guard, regroup. Color Guard, advance. Scouts and audience at ease. I want to thank uh, Carter, who was our uh, spokesperson here, calling the colors, and uh, or thank his the Cub Scout Pack 278 for that. Now, I actually asked Carter if he wanted a job after talking to him for a little bit. He's so he's uh, he <laughs> he's very articulate and he's a leader for sure. He's definitely going to be a leader. So we try to identify those early and maybe put him to work as fast as we can. Um, <clears throat> at this time, I'd like to recognize some of our special guests this morning. Um, the Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. Yep. Frederick County Council Member Jerry Donald. Councilwoman Jessica Fitzwater. Burgess of Middletown, John Miller. <laughs> oh. You threw me off there. See, you did that. Don't, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> uh, Parks and Rec Commission Chair Howard Looney. And Park Commissioner, Commission members Victor Cranebring and Mary Ann Brody Ennis. And our design team, Human Brody and Keller Brothers Construction, couldn't be here with us today, but we thank them very much for their. Um, their work here on this project. We work a lot with Human and Rody and their, uh, their designs help us craft um, all of our parks. For, it seems that though. Um, and I would also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the Division of Public Works staff. I'm not sure we have any representatives here from the Division of Public Works, but I wanna thank them for their uh, patience with us and this project. It's lasted a little longer than we all hoped. And thank you for their leadership in that. And the park operations staff, we have a couple with us here uh, for their time and part in preparing this park for today's event. Um, I want to make sure I point out something. It's a very, I want to point something out to all of you before we get started. And you'll take notice behind me, there's two inflatable uh, objects in the water. They were uh, put there by the construction team, the con contractor, because they are going to be... Um, uh, they're attached to what, what will be our fourth fountain for this park. Um, so they're tethered to the electrical conduit that goes to that. So no, we're not encouraging swimming <laughs> in the park. Um, also wanna, I also want to, before I move on, I want to also thank uh, and recognize uh, <clears throat> Chuck Jenkins, the sheriff, for being here with us today. <laughs> now today's agenda includes words from our county executive, County Council Burgess of Middletown and the Parks and Rec Commission. 
And this is an exciting day for Frederick County and the community of Middletown. This park was purchased in 1982. Um, so it's 40 years in the 40 years from the initial purchase to where we are today. And in 1985, Middletown Park is one of the most, is, is, until, until now, the Middletown Park is one of the most popular parks we have in Frederick County. If you have ever been to a Middletown Park event, if you've ever been to an event like they're gonna have this weekend with the, uh, tonight with the movie night here in the park, uh, if you've ever been to, you realize very quickly that this park brings communities of people together and provides easy access to lots of very uh, attractive amenities for the community. Uh, I'd like now to introduce our first speaker of the morning, the County Executive, Jan Gardner. Thank you, Jeremy, and good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a beautiful day here today in Middletown. I, I really have to say thanks for ordering up such great weather today. I think it's the nicest day we've had in a long time. It's really been an exciting week this week for Middletown and for all of the Middletown Valley. Earlier this week, we broke ground for the new uh, and bigger Middletown Library. And today we're here to celebrate the grand reopening of the Middletown Community Park. After about two years of renovations to this beautiful 79 acre park, it's now largely complete. It has definitely been worth the wait. There are two new shelters, two new ball fields, a new building with restrooms, and soon two, four new fountains in the pond. In addition to the new features, many of the previous amenities have been rehabbed or replaced. Two playgrounds are uh, completely new. Upgrades have been made to four ball fields, the basketball court and the volleyball court. The pond has been dredged, which I have to say is no easy task. Trails, roads, and the parking lots have been resurfaced, and there's a new concrete stage. We've also renovated the existing bathroom, the maintenance shop, and shelter number two. So whether you come to the park uh, just to walk your dog, or to um, take your kids to the playground, or you go over to practice marbles, you'll love all the new features and the upgraded amenities in this park. This park is an important gathering place for the community here in Middletown and for people from all around the counties. And I'm really pleased that the work was completed in time for students to be able to enjoy the park on their way to school or home from school when classes start next week. Frederick County is really fortunate to have some beautiful parks. They are really, truly gems. They help to ensure the exceptional quality of life that we all enjoy in our community. And our parks actually attract around 2 million people every year, which is pretty incredible. And I have to say, now that I have grandchildren, I am traveling around to all the parks to check out the new playgrounds, and they've been pretty fabulous. Memories are made in our parks. Occasionally, memories are preserved here as well. This pavilion that we are in today is intended to preserve the memory of a special Middletown family, Francie Bellotti Wood and her three children, Chandler, Gabby, and Fiona, who died tragically 13 years ago at their Washington Street home. And some of you may um, have known the Wood family. Others um, have participated in the Francie family 5K events that took place in their memory here at the park over the years. And I know there will be an official unveiling of the plaque that will be on this pavilion uh, in October. But I do want to thank uh, Francie's sister, Angela Phillips, for reaching out to the county to make an incredibly gracious offer to sponsor the construction of this pavilion in memory of the family. Frederick County is honored to be able to pay tribute to Francie and her children uh, with the plaque that will be unveiled again later this year. So I do want to thank Angela for this touching gesture. And it's really just another example that shows how much our community values uh, each other and values our county parks. Each year I hear loud and clear that people want more parks, more park space, more athletic fields, and certainly more trails. And I'm proud to have restored dedicated funding for park construction during my administration after a number of years of stagnant funding. I appreciate the support of the County Council, which is always important to get everything that done that we accomplish. Certainly the County Council supported funding this project. Council members Jerry Donald and Jessica Fitzwater, who are with us this morning, have been big advocates for our parks. And certainly, Jerry, who represents this district, has been the biggest advocate for the Middletown Community Park. Jerry appreciates the value of our parks, and he was the driving force behind the trail that connects this park to the school campus. He also is the County Council's liaison to the Park and Rec Commission. 
I also want to thank our Park and Rec Commission members who are here today and who uh, do a fabulous job uh, all around the county, particularly the chair, Howard Looney. Thank you for being here for all you do. I want to acknowledge the support we always get from our town officials, including the Burgess, our Burgess John Miller, who will say a few words later in the agenda. And I want to thank our amazing staff in the county's Division of Park and Recreation under the leadership of Jeremy Courtright. All of our parks look great. They look great year round. They're enjoyed by people in our community everywhere. They're beautifully maintained. There's wonderful events in our parks and they operate smoothly. And people really enjoy and appreciate our parks and appreciate them probably even more during our period of COVID. I wanna thank again, as Jeremy did, our hardworking staff in the Division of Public Works who oversaw the renovation of this park. Uh, it's been a lot of challenges with supply chain issues and so forth. So. It's a lot of, we have a lot of projects happening in the county and our public works division is, does a lot of work to get them done. The upgrades to this park are beautiful and will be enjoyed by the community for many years to come. So today's the official day, but please come back and enjoy this lovely, beautiful park. Thank you. Next is Mary. Thank you everybody for taking the time to come here today for this ceremony. It's, I, I appreciate it greatly. Um, so this park was purchased in 1982. Uh, that's when I graduated from Middletown High School. And as I, I thought about that, I thought about the connections that I have. And there's a certain kind of a family experience in Middletown. Um, I, they redistricted schools, so I started coming over here in 1974, which is when I met John Miller, who was my basketball coach 48 years ago. He was, he was in high school, and uh, yeah, that's when we first met. Uh, the Bellotti family, uh, I played football with Andy and Sam, just saw Andy recently. Uh, you know, we played ball together in school. Uh, Howard Looney's here today, he's our, our park chairman. His daughter and I taught together for 13 years at Middletown. Um, the Falsinellis are here. Uh, Commissioner Falsinelli had all three of her sons at Middletown High School. Uh, you just, I don't know. It, it, it's a beautiful community. I love to represent it. And I do all I can to make it a better place, which is about all you can do. I love working with the Burgess. I appreciate so much the support of the county executive who has, I go to her with budget items uh, and, and she has fulfilled them. And we have, you know, the first thing we did here actually, well, we did, we broke ground on the library the other day, uh, the, the fire station, uh, a few years ago we did in Middletown um, and today the rehab of the park. And the first thing I kind of asked for for any of this was the trail system through here, the, the paths. And it's because a kid asked me, <laughs> you know, they're walking on the road. And I thought to myself, why didn't I think of that? I mean, somebody's gonna get hurt walking on the road. They're gonna go around a curve, you know, in the winter time and the snow's all piled up and you can't see people and, and, and it's safe. And people walk on them all the time, they're beautiful. So I asked the, the county executive for that and Jan has been so supportive, so I wanna thank her for that. Um, we have the trails here. We also have the marble rings here. I mean, they didn't get rehab, but they're, we just had another national champion for marbles. Uh, my daughter loves that. She was a, a finalist one year, she coaches. She was so excited. She's going to be a senior in college. And she was so excited because in June, she got to drive to New Jersey to help coach, you know, the, the, the marbles. It's, it's, it's a great thing that we have here and that kids can enjoy. Um, you know, the, we had a scout project over there a few years ago to put up the flagpole and all that. And, you know, it's, it was just really well done. And a lot of people in the community enjoy it. Uh, the pond dredging was pretty exciting to watch this year, uh, if you saw it, and all of that's going over, all that went over in that direction. Um, the, to level out all the fields, uh, Jeremy didn't talk about it, but some of the fields were, were tilted. <laughs> so I had to go through all this and, and regrade the fields. And the field behind you, uh, back here, that one we had a big holdup on uh, because there were, well, I'll just say it was a very large company that had wires on that and wouldn't move them. No matter what we did, they wouldn't move them. So I'm making calls, I'm making calls, uh, I'm writing emails, and finally they moved them. What was it, in late March, I think it was. Finally, it was like a celebration. We should have a ribbon cutting for that. I mean, that was, that was huge. Uh, because they wouldn't move those freaking poles forever. 
But anyway, that got done. We got things finished this year. Uh, we have the county picnic here in the summer uh, because it's such a beautiful park. We have the county picnic here every year that we've had a county picnic in my memory. And I want to mention something Paul Dial told me. Paul Dial used to be head of Parks and Rec. And actually, when we had the parks tour, Jeremy said something like it. One of the best things you can do in this is when you go to a park, not for a ceremony like this, but when nobody knows who you are, and you just sit there and you watch people enjoy what's here. So I really hope you get to go and enjoy what's here. Um, we have a whole list of things you can do, a checklist. Uh, it's just fun. There's all kinds of stuff. You can go that direction. There are paths over there. Uh, there's a new softball field. There's uh, basketball courts. We're all redone over in that direction. The playgrounds are great. They really are. They're such an upgrade. And coming soon, uh, if you look that direction, there is a kind of a pile of dirt and some equipment. Uh, for years, people asked, can we have a skate park in Middletown? And I went to the county executive and I asked her for it specifically in this year's budget. And she talked to Jeremy and they were kind enough to put everything in the budget in a new skate park, a half pipe, a pump track will be over there later this fall. So it's a great, it's a beautiful park. I wanna thank everybody who had a hand in the project. And I truly appreciate everything you've done to make Middletown a better place. And now we'll hand it off to Howard Looney, who's our uh, head of the commission. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, my name's Howard Looney. I'm the current chairman of the Frederick County Parks and Recreation Commission. I always like to say just a couple words about the commission, just in case people don't know about it. Um, uh, our County Parks and Recreation Commission is uh, comprised of eight citizen volunteers like me, and we're appointed by the county executive with the advice and consent of county council. And then we have a liaison from county council, whom you met Jerry Donald. We have a liaison from uh, Board of Education, who's uh, David Bass. And you've also um, met Mary Ann, Brody Ennis, and Victor Cranbring, my colleagues on the commission. I like to give all the names because sometimes you might not know that your neighbor is on the, on the park commission. Um, and we love to talk to everybody about, about parks. It's what we do. We talk to uh, citizens about parks and we talk to uh, executive and council and, and the professional staff about parks. So our other members are, are and I also like, sometimes somebody slips in, I don't see that they're here, but um, Dave, the, our other members are Dave Twig, Charlotte Davis, I know she's out of town, Mary Jo Richmond, uh, Harry Lashley, and Nick Augustine. And um, I don't believe in making long speeches. Um, uh, on the park commission, we have lots of meetings in buildings and I just love it when we get to be out in a park and this is a wonderful day for it, a wonderful you know, uh, event. So thank you and it's now my honor to introduce Burgess John Miller. Thank you. Welcome to Middletown everybody. And uh, for those of you that are my neighbor, thanks for coming out to the park and you see uh, how beautiful park it is. And it's, of course, it's like this every day. It's a beautiful park, it's well-maintained. Um, and I can't tell you how much this means to our community to have this park uh, so accessible to so many. Uh, our fireworks display is held here every year. And so it's a very important part of the community. And I mentioned to uh, Jan when I got here today I know there are a lot of uh, great county employees, but uh, you know Jeremy Courtright has to be the most responsive county employee that I know. I called him, uh, yeah, let's give him a hand, because he is. Uh, I don't know because I taught one of his staff members, if that helps, I don't know. But uh, he, uh, every time I call him up with a, with a plan or a, something that people ask me about, could we do this? Uh, matter of fact, on the pickleball courts over here, we wanted to, they wanted them striped for pickleball. I called him up and asked him that. Matter of fact, I had forgotten about that, and a gentleman sent me an email and said, hey, thanks for getting that done, and uh, we appreciate Jeremy getting it done for us. Um, I see uh, Commissioner Falcinelli is with, uh, with me today, and our town board, there she is back there waving, yes, thank you. Uh, our town board is very supportive of uh, the parks and the county parks, and, and the county is very supportive of uh, this as well as you've heard um, some of not to get into the weeds but some of you may or may not know this but you know most of the funding for parks comes from project open space uh, and with the state frederick county is one of the few counties where all the money goes to the county and then they divide it in half give half to municipalities 
and the county keeps half. That does not happen across the state. I can't tell you how many people I go to and they'll say, your county does what? They give you money? But, and then we divide it up between our, uh, amongst ourselves uh, in, in a meeting among all the municipalities. And, uh, but we're the beneficiaries of all that. And I certainly thank uh, Jan for what she has done for parks, uh, for libraries, for fire stations, and for primary schools. So thank you, Jan. Appreciate that. Um, for those of you new to our community, those are the four newest things that we've done in, in recent memory and uh, that you may be familiar with. And of course, uh, Jerry Donald is uh, our, our council member extraordinaire for Middletown. As you can tell, he has a passion for the community and that's what you want in an elected official. Somebody that loves their community, wants to do better for their community and then makes it happen. And that's what he does uh, day in, day out. And so we, uh, we appreciate all those efforts. Um, I, I just implore you to come out, enjoy the park, be a part of it, walk through it on the trails. As Jerry mentioned, a lot of times you'll see people here 7, 30, 8 o'clock at night and this road has more pedestrians on it than it does cars. And that's a great thing. They're enjoying this park at a very peaceful time. And uh, we're, so, we're so proud to have this park rehabilitated, refurbished and enhanced. And we thank the county for that. And we hope that you enjoy uh, the fruits of their labor. Thank you very much. And <clears throat> before we do the, uh, have the actual ribbon cutting, I want to mention that there's a couple of things that are, um, as Councilman Donald mentioned, that are very popular in this park, one of them being the marble courts. But also we have a um, very popular, or have in the past, have a very popular disc golf course in this park. And the community itself is very interested in keeping that going. And that's something that we are going to enhance and improve this fall with all new baskets and a new course. And we're working right now on our team, to, once the grass gets established, to come in and actually craft that uh, a new course with new baskets um, for the future. So you'll see that this fall as well. So, so as I've said and many times when we do ribbon cuttings for parks, um, we are this is the initial ribbon cutting. We have, if you come back to the park tomorrow, you may see something different. And if you come back next month, maybe something different because we're gonna continue to improve the parks. We're gonna continue to add elements like the skate park or the disc golf courses, maybe some new benches, new plaques, new tables here and there. And it's always an adventure. Come back and enjoy and em embrace what we're about to, what we're gonna to add to the county. So um, thank you for all, all of you for being here. We're going to have our ribbon cutting over here um, with the backdrop being the fountains. So I'd like to invite everybody who, is, who spoke uh, all the way up to, and and uh, Sheriff Jenkins also, if you want to come up, we'll all go up to the up here and cut the ribbon.